CMMG is a company first known to me for 22 caliber conversion kits, mainly the 22 caliber bolt for AR rifles, and that's probably where a lot of you folks learned about them too. That 22 caliber bolt for the AR rifle made by CMMG is really basically the industry standard 22 conversion for the AR platform. But those folks at CMMG have been busy over the years doing a lot of other things, namely making some high quality rifles. One of the more popular products in their firearms lineup has been the Banshee. I was fortunate enough to get an early copy of the Banshee MK17 to do testing with. I'm going to bring you my full review starting now. So if you're a SIG fan, you might have an M17 commemorative. You may have the M17 production, or if you're lucky like I am and you've got one of the M17 actual government issue pistols, or perhaps you prefer the M18, well, all those magazines are compatible with the MK17. That is the whole point. Finally, a 9mm AR pistol that takes Sig Sauer magazines. Since it's all about Sig Sauer compatibility, I thought I would throw a Sig Sauer Romeo 5 on. It seems like the perfect optic to pair with this pistol, and it works great. It's also a nice coincidence that it's a matching color. And out front I've got the Streamlight TLR2 combination light and laser. The Banshee is an AR pistol chambered in pistol calibers, this one in 9mm. The MK17 model number designates its compatibility with M17 magazines. So this Banshee takes Sig Sauer, M17, or M18, or P320 magazines. It comes with one 21 round Sig Sauer magazine, but it should accept any magazine compatible with the M17, M18, or P320 line. I myself can attest that I tried it with 15s, 17s, and 21 rounders, and they all worked perfectly. I haven't formally sighted it in this Romeo 5, but I'm going to give it a try. See how close I am. We go through 20 rounds pretty quick. The Banshee is a pistol by definition and it comes with an arm brace. The brace is also handy to use as a cheek rest and the current ATF policies do not forbid having it touch the shoulder while doing so. As a supported pistol, the brace is used with the retaining strap to make the pistol basically an extension of the arm. I found that some significant cant to the gun is necessary when used this way in order to see your sights or your optic. The top is fully finished in 1913 pick rail, and the handguard has M-lock slots on both sides and a little bit at the bottom too. The controls are immediately familiar to anyone who knows the AR platform, and they function accordingly. The magazine release has been adapted by CMMG to work with the SIG magazines, but still have the feel and location of the AR control. It's also a bit oversized, which is appreciated.
I took the MK-17 to the range on more than one occasion and I put a lot of rounds through it. The only malfunctions were related to some large mouth jacketed hollow points that had trouble feeding. Ironically, it was the Sig Sauer Elite Performance V Crown that had the most trouble. I found this pistol to be extremely accurate, and in the hands of a better shooter with the right ammo, it would probably be capable of ragged hole groups at 25 yards. All right. CMMG Banshee may look a lot like an AR, and it is a lot like an AR in most ways, but in some ways, some very interesting and important ways, it's very different. Now, this is what I wanted to talk a little bit about. This is very different from a standard AR bolt carrier and what this really is is CMMG's interesting radial delayed blowback system and what does that mean well I'll show you the layman's version I am by no means an expert and I'm not a gunsmith and I'm not a know-it-all but I have a good understanding of how this works and I'll show you the first thing you might notice if you're used to ARs or similar bolt configurations is that this bolt is spring-loaded in the carrier unlike the normal configuration so let's take a look at how that works a normal AR bolt carrier group uses the combustion gas to move the carrier backward which basically drags the bolt with it and turns it which unlocks the lugs from the lugs in the trundle on the Banshee that's not how it works on the Banshee it works not by gas operation, but by blowback operation. You can see there is a faux gas key, but it is solid. There is no tube, and it does not convey any gas. So this is not a gas system. It's a blowback system. So what happens is the blowback acts on the bolt face and pushes it backwards. And we have this spring on the back that is resisting that so it's controlling the timing and the pressure a little bit there are cuts on the back of each of these lugs at 45 degrees so that when the pressure is applied and the bolt is pushed it's allowed to turn because of those cuts and it turns at a precise degree of, of rotation and at a, a precise speed based on the amount of pressure and of course because we have our cam pin through the bolt carrier and the bolt once it starts to move backwards it's going to push the carrier back with it so rather than the carrier pulling the bolt like a normal operation with a gas system the bolt is pushing the carrier back the secret sauce is really these 45 degree cuts on the lugs but the genius is just coming up with the concept and making it work and those folks did a great job doing that so you may ask why <laughs> why is there even a gas key object here on the top which is not only bolted down but also staked I think the primary purpose of 
the key, the faux gas key, is to maintain the proper orientation of the bolt. Because again, this goes up into our charging handles channel, and that's going to maintain proper vertical for the bolt carrier. Otherwise, it might just spin. So I think that's the real reason why it's there. But I think a little bonus to that is it also adds a little bit of weight. There's probably, you know, an ounce or something um, of weight there, which helps. The Magpul pistol grip is a familiar feel, and most shooters will find it comfortable with good texturing. When used as a cheek rest, the support brace has a smooth surface and wide enough area to provide a good contact point. Slipping the brace on and off the arm is not difficult. The more you do it, the faster and easier it can be done. But that said, in an emergency, I wouldn't want to rely on my ability to perform that particular maneuver. I'd rather raise it to the cheek or perhaps have an even better alternative. That better alternative might be to mount a light or laser light combo like the TLR2 that I put on this Banshee. I mounted it at a 45 degree angle so that my support thumb can easily work the switch without changing my shooting grip. Once sighted in, the laser provides an on-target aim point that doesn't even require the pistol to be eye level. The benefit here is that under stress, you would not have to cant the pistol at arm's length to acquire a sight. And you could also shoot from the tucked position under the arm and ribs or even from the hip. I have a considerable stock of Sig Sauer magazines for the P320 and the M17, as many people do. Having the CMMG Banshee available to support this platform is going to make a lot of people happy. Here are the things I like the most. The charging handle is very large, it's ambidextrous and very easy to use. Very smooth in operation. The bolt locks back on an empty magazine each and every time. I like that. Overall, this is an extremely versatile pistol with a wide range of uses. Things I didn't like so much, really kind of just one, and that is, might be a little finicky about certain kinds of ammo, especially hollow point ammo. I would encourage all users to test for themselves to find out what ammo works and what doesn't. Now for starters, I can recommend Hornady Critical Duty or Critical Defense as a good choice. As always, thanks for watching. Special thanks to my Patreon patrons for their wonderful support. See you again soon.